The light of comparison. Understanding. Hold a candle to. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase in the English language. Hold a candle to. This idiom might seem a bit odd at first glance, but it's packed with history and meaning. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your conversations. So, let's illuminate this expression together. The phrase, hold a candle to, has a rather literal beginning. It dates back to a time before electric lights, when apprentices or assistants would hold candles to provide light for craftsmen or artisans to work by. This task was seen as menial and not requiring much skill. The implication was that the person holding the candle was not capable of performing the skilled work themselves but could only serve in a supportive role to someone more capable. In modern usage, to not hold a candle to someone or something means to not be as good as the person or thing with which it is being compared. It's a way of saying that the comparison subject falls short of a certain standard or level of excellence. The phrase is often used in contexts of talent, quality, or worth. Let's see how this idiom works in sentences. Even the best smartphone on the market can't hold a candle to the kind of cameras professionals use. I thought I was a good chess player, but I can't hold a candle to Marina. She's on another level. This new coffee shop is nice but it doesn't hold a candle to the cozy little place we found last year. These examples show the phrase in action, comparing abilities, qualities, or experiences in a way that highlights a significant gap or difference. When using, hold a candle to, remember, it's typically used in the negative form, can't, don't hold a candle to, the phrase is subjective and often reflects the speaker's opinion or personal preference. It's suitable for informal contexts, such as conversations or personal writings, rather than formal documents or presentations. And that's a wrap on, hold a candle to. We've shed light on its origins, meaning, and use in modern English. This idiom is a fantastic way to express comparisons, especially when you want to emphasize a significant difference in quality or ability. I hope you found this explanation illuminating and that you'll feel confident using this phrase in your own conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.